Somatic education is integral to artistic expression, but also human expression. And um, there were things that I learned about myself. So I used to always have, if you can see it, my brow was always engaged continuously and um, whatever I was doing and I was aware of it but I didn't I didn't know how to fix that that was just that was just my look um, and then also my shoulders were, were rounded and that combination of the shoulders being rounded and the brow being engaged from an alba perspective is part of the sadness pattern and that was my habit that was my neutral was was this and by engaging with somatic education alba freed my brow Feldenkrais freed my shoulders and as a result um, I've been happier in my life um, I've been more present I've been um, you know able to move and try things and those are all things that I think are important for for actors to have when 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 they're working and I think it's also interesting that the word motion is an emotion and that we if something affects us on stage or screen we say that it moves us I think that's that's quite interesting yes. um, uh, Feldenkrais and theater have there's been a connection you know for a while it's not new to theater as such I mean um, the British director Peter Brook um, had Feldenkrais work with his actors with his company in Paris and then even brought his company over to California to work with him further and Helen Mirren was in that cohort and actually she mentions um, the legendary Moisha in her book which is quite nice and um, so uh, it was really uh, in terms of the the lineage into Britain, into to British theater. Um, Brooks movement director, Monica Panu, um, she was there for all those workshops with Feldenkrais and she also went to Israel to work with him further because that was before we had Feldenkrais trainings. And um, it was through her, she taught at a, a Lecoque, which is a physical theater school in, in Paris that a lot of British actors go to. It was through her that the awareness of Feldenkrais um, it was mostly physical theater companies at the time though, but came to Britain. And now um, it's really taking off and you're seeing more um, lecturing posts that, that mention it 